Our verse for today is Psalm 141, verse 3. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. As someone who is both an extrovert and a preacher, which means I speak and talk a lot, verses like this really make me nervous. I don't know about you. The idea that, boy, if I could have a guard, an armed guard standing watch <laughs> to make sure that every word that came out of my mouth was true and honest and necessary and motivated by love and used for building up other people, that would really be a wonderful thing. I can really relate to the prayer of the psalmist here, wishing that God would do that, that God would set a guard uh, over, the, over his mouth and that there would be a way of making sure that everything that comes out of our lips uh, would only be helpful. I'm sure I'm not the only person who can think of many, many times when uh, I've been in conversation with somebody and something comes out and almost as the words are dissipating into the air, you wish you could grab them back and pull them back. And you just wonder, why did I say that? Why did I say it that way? Why did I say it now? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about. You know who you are. And sometimes it's not just with our verbal spoken words. It also happens with things that we write down and we may send it via a text or an email or in some other way and then again you wish you could grab it back but uh, as has been said many times it's very hard to get the toothpaste back in the tube once it's out and that's why this prayer from the psalmist inviting God to set a guard over my mouth and to watch over my lips is a really good verse to keep in mind in the letter of James, it also speaks very much about our mouths and the power of the tongue and how our tongue can uh, create all kinds of havoc and trouble and how it's such a small muscle and a small organ in our body, but it's strong and it's influential. So I invite you to invite God to set a guard over your lips and to watch what you say and how you say it.